Sunday, January 10th, 2016. This is the Evercast Show. With your host, Tamlin, Hylas, Lucy, and Flatus. Connecting gamers with the games they play. Yeah, live from Desert Rain Studios, uh, talking about all things in the world of online video games and bringing the conversation back to EverQuest Next wherever we can. Connecting gamers with the game they play. Um, I am one of your weekly, regular, normal hosts, Stanley, and this is EverCast. Well, I don't Hi. think the other two have... And then... Hi. You, you should be able to hear everybody all right. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing like green signals on my end. A little sound levels going back and forth, back and forth, and they all, they all look good. Um, what doesn't look so good, though, is my frame rates, and um, I'm monitoring that because uh, we only have one internet provider. Harder. I'm going to throw their name out there because, you know, if there are, <laughs> we have bad internet, they're at fault. They're the only people that can control that. And uh, I brought this up to them before that if I could get more upload speed, I would happily take them up on the offer. Um, but I have the fastest that they make available in my area, and there is no faster upload ever, period. Hi. Hey, so with me, um, I, as I mentioned, Tanlin, uh, if you're catching us for the first time, uh, to my left over there. Is Kai Lust. And to my right over there is Addis. Kai Lust, you gotta say something because there are people who listen. Hi! There, there are sorry. people that listen on the audio podcast. I'm, I'm Kai Lust. And they, they listen to us on Stitcher and on iTunes. And if you don't say anything, they actually don't know that you're there. I could be talking about my, my imagine wife. Mm, yes, you could be <laughs> talking about your imagined <laughs> wife. Imagine wife. <laughs> is that the is that coming out in 2016 from Apple? <laughs> well, the I, wife. I think the Japanese are already working on that. Nah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um. There there is no specific topic we're talking about this week. Uh, we're basically using this as a how how should we call a back in the saddle. Um, basically, yeah. like, relearning how to do the podcast, because we took a month off from doing it, so we have to make sure that, you know, like, the, you know, the, the streaming software is working, the video software is working, the, that we've got, you know, a good, entertaining topic. The, the podcast hosts are working. Yeah, that too. Um, Flattis I'm still an alpha. Introduction. <laughs> but... So hi, I won't. I back. won't be done until EverQuest Next comes out. <laughs> but I'm dumb. That's still happening. What? That, oh. That's probably the biggest dig you'll ever get out of me. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, Merry we only New tease Year. because there we go. <laughs> Merry New Year. <laughs> we only tease because we care. We want that EverQuest Next game. Um. When it's damn good and ready. When it's ready. Yeah. Um, so, hi. Um, the last the show that we did, it wasn't quite a live show. It was the best of show a month ago. How'd you all, <laughs> how did you guys all like that? Oh, I hope you guys watched that. If you didn't, totally your loss. It's, it's, it's on YouTube. It's on iTunes. It's on Stitcher. Go find it. Um, I, 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 I spent a lot of love putting that thing together, and it was totally worth it. It, it, it was. Really it was, was awesome. It was, it was one of those things that you could listen at work, and like made, it made like a good hour and a half 
go by like that. Which I did, because I was at work and I listened to it. I made a good hour and a half go by like that. Yeah, I, um, I, I listened to it and I'm like, wow, really? It's almost done? Yeah. Where did the time go? So, uh, before, before we keep going, because I think we should uh, mention, speaking of uh, things and listening and stuff like that, uh, we don't ask for money. <laughs> We're not gonna. We're not starting 2016 saying, "Hey, listen, give us money." We're not gonna do that at all. What we want from you, though, is to whore us out like shameless women, <laughs> or men, well, or men, bet. or men. I'm gonna get so. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> so I was just trying to say <laughs> that we don't ask for Dear anything. viewers. You don't. aren't really viewers, but just listeners. I love you. I would like to tell you right now that I I assure you that the look that I gave Flattis and the finger wagging that I just gave him is what caused that particular reaction from him. He is lucky he lives across the United States or he would have died. She wouldn't have killed me. She likes me too much. <laughs> I don't know she about wouldn't. that. <laughs> I'm her favorite. <laughs> I don't know, right now, the two of you are kind of tied for on my bad side. But, Aww. you know. True. It's okay. I, listen, I'll be the first person to say that I, I poured myself out shamelessly. <laughs> I was poor and needed the money. Hold on. I, I also want to say that I am so glad to be back. Okay. Um, because I think I've mentioned before that I live in a remote part of the California desert, right? Like I live in a city of about 14,000 people. That's, um, the closest thing to us is about 20 miles away. And it is, uh, the, the military base that I work at. Um, and I am by far the youngest person, um, that, that works there. And I'm the oldest person on the podcast here. So like their age compared to my age, compared with the rest of the age of the gamers that I run across is pretty steep. And there is nothing more frustrating than going out and watching a brand new movie, um, such as star Wars and being like, Oh my God, I can't wait to talk in person about the movie with other people. Right. Yep, and so this episode we're gonna spoil Star Wars. No, no, what? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He's already seen it too, so I but, did. But I have. We're not gonna. It. But but the thing is, is that like it's not it's not like going online and posting on Facebook or on Twitter or whatever is one thing, but being able to like, oh, did you see that movie? Oh, did you play that game? Oh, did you watch such a such on sh on on you know that on that one show? I, mi I don't have any of that relationship with any of my coworkers. I have no friends here in town. You guys are it. You guys are my my portal into pop culture. And, and it's I'm so glad I just, to be I, here. Just saw Heat. Do you want to talk about that? <laughs> heat. The the heat. one with uh, Robert Robert De Niro and <laughs> no, it's Robert De Niro and who's the other guy? Isn't um Al Pacino. Al Pacino. Yeah. Check out the brain on Tam, and I remember the Al Pacino and um, uh, yeah. <laughs> talk about heat. Anyway, okay, so I just wanted to throw out there that I am so glad uh, to be back on the show to be talking about like all things fun and interesting in the world of online video games because literally without you guys, um, it's just me and Kai talking to to one another, and it's just I mean it's it's awful. Yeah. No, I have friends. <laughs> so, um, we were going to use this period, this, oh, this yeah, we, show. Oh, yeah, we totally uh, sidetracked thing we were supposed to be doing. <laughs> well, it was just basically catching up with Evercast, right? Well, so we well, we no, 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 the other thing, like, I said, uh, shamelessly whore, and then I went off, and then she got mad oh, at right, me, right. and then we side... <clears throat> Hi, listen, because uh, we usually forget at the end of the show. So, uh, at the start of the show... Uh, we're not gonna, uh, like, sell you anything. Really, what I want from you guys is to go to iTunes and leave us a review. One star if you don't like us, we don't care. Five star, please, five star, I would love that. <laughs> but I will read, we'll read whatever you say, and we'll take, we'll take it to heart. Um, and on Stitcher, if you listen to Stitcher, thumbs up. Anything you, but, by the way, guys, like, we get seen more often when you guys thumb up us, when you review us on, uh, on, on 
on the iTunes, please go do that. If you have iTunes and, and you can log in right now and just leave us a review, <clears throat> that'd be great. If you if you use this on like if you listen to AudioCast and you're using Stitcher, please thumbs us up and uh, give us a review there too. People see us, and we want that'll just make more people see us, and then we will grow to the superpower that we wish to become. Soon I will be invincible. There you go. <laughs> All right. All right. So, th um, basically, the show topic is uh, just catching up with the Evercast crew, talk about what we've been doing over the uh, the holiday break, and maybe talking a little bit about what you guys have been doing over the um, the, the winter break. Obviously, the big one is Star Wars. Um, I don't want to go into a lengthy review or anything, but if you are if you haven't read on the internet enough already to convince you, allow me to try one last time to convince you to go see the movie. It's 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 Star Wars. It's it 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 goes back to um, what uh, Episode four, five, and six were like. It picks up right up well, not right after Return of the Jedi, but it is the story that we've been wanting. Um, it will not. Well, it might disappoint if you're a hard ass art critic, like I sometimes can be. But it is fun. <laughs> Ask him what he said to me when we got home that night. What was the first thing I said about it after I, we got home? <laughs> Maybe you should go see it with somebody else that's not an actor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was talking about us the car where I said that I didn't hate it. But, and then I went on. I didn't Maybe hate I it, but. Because <laughs> I, I, I. I, I I critique that's, movies. It's sort of what that's, I that's do. A, that's a different podcast. That's a different <laughs> right, 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 right. So, and I didn't want to really get into that, but um, yeah, it was something that was fun and interesting that came out over the break. So, uh, Kyles, you're first on the list. Something uh, happened like to front. you. <laughs> I knew you were going to throw that shot out. Uh huh. <laughs> Oof, are we gonna get to that? Oh, we'll we'll get there. Go ahead. Kyla, so you first. Everybody, I I did something yesterday. I have a horse. My horse is amazing. I went and adopted a, a four wheel I, horsey. I I will pull up a, a picture from the Thank from the you. inner web. If you want me to. So yeah, I, I adopted the four wheel horsey. Um the, the four wheel horse is an actual genuine American Mustang. Gathered in the wild. So he is a wild pony. <laughs> um he's six years old. His name is Oliver. I call him Ollie. I get to go pick him up next weekend. I am going to be doing some of his training. Yes, me training a horse. Um, I will not saddle break him. So that is not my job. Um, there hey, is Oliver. Oliver. That is Oliver. That is my horse. Um, so back in the okay. saddle again. Because, honey, they already... I don't care. Um, <laughs> I don't care. Uh, but that is that is my horsey. That is what I did. Like, I, I saw Star Wars. I dyed yarn because it's the business that I own. Um, real horse, not a Mustang. Um, but he is my horsey. He he is still shy is not the right word. He lacks confidence. He needs to be shown that it's okay to be touched. To you know, he's still scared. Him scared. Listen, you'll probably have an easier time, you know, training that horse than tan lines. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, I don't know about that. Tanlin's slowly, Tanlin slowly becoming the old guy in Gran Torino. <laughs> but here's here's the thing: I, I the horse will eat carrots. That's the you know Nathan Hanlon doesn't eat carrots. The horse eats carrots. I'll eat cooked um, carrots. So chop, like carrot, chop car carrots. carrot cake. He hates carrot cake. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I also I also don't like um. I I okay. Talon is offensive. Like if I fuck up and need to apologize, 
I buy I, him these candies, these chocolate. That's how I apologize to him. Like, if like, I piss the horse off, I can just buy him a two dollar bag of carrots, and he'll love me forever. Call that a pocket pony when they want to follow like, you I would like, I would like to point out that you said that if I upset Tamlin, I have to go out and buy him chocolates. <laughs> Ask him when he's bought me chocolate. <laughs> This is the biggest role reversal I've ever seen. It's great. I love it. The answer will be never. And then if you ask him when he bought me roses, the answer will be once. Right there. Boom. Twice. Twice. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. He did. I, I have a necklace that matches my wedding. Oh, well, then three times you want to throw it like that. Are you? <laughs> yeah. That Are you? I'm sorry, and he bought me a house, and the house happens to roses. I will, I will say, and it made me laugh, and it's probably not funny, but it made me laugh um, on a on a a, a larger fa you know social media site. <laughs> was two posts back to back. One was from you. Oh my god, I got a horse. Thank you to my friends. Da da da. Horse. Da da da. His post. I guess we got a horse. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and I just sat for like, just started, like looked and started laughing to myself like <laughs> But so, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like I couldn't have done that with a dog. I would have I, I would have gotten in trouble. And I'm using bunny ears because I wouldn't have really gotten in trouble, but damn, I would not have heard the end of it. The horse doesn't live at our house. The horse lives at my friend's house. So he doesn't ever have to deal with Oliver ever if he does not want to. Oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, it's cool or not because you, you want to walk outside and be like, "Hi, horse." <laughs> well, we're we're not zoned for horses. I can't get zoned for horses. He's a BLM horse, which is Bureau of Land Management, because they do gather wild mustangs. And the people that he's staying with is actually the director of the BLM horse gathering for the mustangs. Um, she's my friend's mom. Um, and. They are keeping my horse because they have significantly more experience in dealing with horses than I do. And I've dealt with horses, but they've always been broke when I've dealt with them. This horse is not broke. The term is gentled, and he still is not. I'll take video. He won't kick. He won't bite. That's all I can promise. Definitely, you can't saddle him right now. He probably would throw me off. Just saying. Okay, I think I've taken up more than a share of time talking about a pony. I have a horse. That the horse is amazing. Give it a look. It tastes just like raisins. What? It's yeah. a song. It's a song. So, shall we, if you type, shall we talk? Yeah, sorry. I just found out that if you type it's a trap into the chat, it pops up Akbar's head. Just... Not part of the discussion, but I just thought I'd like to know. Well, Continue, I will look at the video. Um... So that was what Kyla did over the break. Um, I on I have been talking with Flattis for how long have I been talking with you about it, Flattis? At least Three like years. Six oh months. wait, what? Uh, to, <laughs> no, about the PS4. Oh yeah, about at least three months. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a little while that I've been like, well, I want to kind of get a console, but I don't know if I really want to get a console. Um, I want to be able to. Um, well, here's the thing. I have an Amazon Fire Stick, and it, you know, it's basically a little computer that you plug into the to a TV HDMI port, and it allows you to stream video. I can watch Twitch on it. I can watch uh, YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime streaming. All of these things I can do on my big screen TV that's hanging up right over there, and um, it's just on this little little device, right? And I was thinking to myself that like I would like to be able to play the next generation of video games. And replace the video, you know, the little uh, Amazon Fire Stick at the same time. Because buying a console that can't do all the things that the Fire Stick can do just seems kind of like a stupid idea to me. 
And so I've been debating, you know, do I want to do it? Do I not want to do it? Well, how will it work? And blah, 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 blah. And then Christmas Eve rolls around. And freaking Christmas Eve, and I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm kicking it with my in-laws. They're over for the holidays. And I'm scrolling through Facebook, and I see over in the corner that they're doing like a all three consoles. That's the Xbox One, the PS4, and the Wii um, as a prepackaged sale going on right now. And I look over there, and it's... I, I bought all three consoles. I, I, <laughs> I have a PS4 now, <laughs> I have an Xbox One now, and I have a Wii. And it was, it was, the greatest thing, though, is that they're, they're hooked up to the TV in the other room, and we had lost the remote control for the TV. Do you know that the Wii U handheld controller can function as a TV remote? So I yep. got to replace the TV remote, too. I'm like, whoa, this is... <laughs> You're like, purchase, purchase ever! Right, and it's really funny because, like, I walk in as he's trying to set all of this stuff up, and he's like, "Hey, babe, convince me this wasn't a bad purchase." Yeah, and it was literally the fact that I could replace the TV remote with the Wii controller, even when the Wii is off, even when I'm playing on the Xbox, it will still be usable as a uh, TV remote. And I'm like, this is the coolest thing. I know. I'm. He, I'm... he really did. It was so exciting for him. It. It. He was super happy. Seriously, super happy. But yeah. So um. One of the things that I didn't do, and I, I talked to Flattis just before the show, is that when I ordered the the um, the console bundle, I should have thrown a couple of games in the cart <laughs> when I ordered it, because it was literally just the consoles. There was no games with it. We've sent, um, we we got the the teenager, or he bought himself Fallout Four. He got some money from I forget where. But he, he had some money. <laughs> no, he's 15. He knows that Santa is not real. He still checks his stockings. He knows that what's inside the stocking is not Santa. Um, Cr- no, it was- Spoilers! Hello! Cramp- Krampus? It was, it, it was money from my parents for Christmas. And then um, I had picked up a couple of things for my mom. Um, without saying, hey, mom, I'm buying this thing for you. And so she gets here and I give it to her and she's like, oh, did you want money for that? And I was like, no. I mean, if you feel the urge to give me money for it, just give it to Gavin so he can have it for his video game. So, you know, then he got more and then he got more from me. And then my mom put more money in his stocking and my dad put more money in his stocking. So he had enough between all of us, not counting Tanlin. <laughs> Right, right. So he, he doesn't carry cash. That that's why he doesn't carry cash. So we we have uh I have a PlayStation Four and Kyla has a PlayStation Four and we have one video game that belongs to the to the teenager and that's Fallout Four. Uh, so I have a growing list of games that I'd like to get for the consoles because I think that there are some video games that actually are better on a console. I know that that is is that sacrilegious? Do I do no. I do I lose? No, there and there's some games that just don't come out on the PC. Bloodborne, for instance. The, the well, the... right, and I and I can imagine a game like Civ Five would be horrible if you were trying to play it on a console. Yeah, exactly. Right, but I think that there are games like The Last of Us um, that I really want to get. Right, because that's what I hear, and I've seen enough of the cutscenes to to go like that. Looks like a really not just a good, engaging game, but a wonderful story. Well kind of depressing story from what I understand, but it's a, a well-told story. And so uh, it's one of the games that I want to get um, now that I have a, a console because I, I didn't want to get that for the PC because I know what I would do with the PC. I'd be doing other stuff while I was trying to play a video game and that doesn't work out well. Um, so yeah. Oh, and um, as soon as I actually get some free time, I'm um, going to download Defiance and Planet Side 2 and put them on the consoles because they're free to play. Probably best. Best idea. <laughs> nah, good idea. Good idea. Yeah. You can play uh, 
certain certain games on the free to play on the console. Like uh, which one? Planet Planet Side Two, probably. Yeah, I that. mentioned that. Planet Side Two, yeah. Two and Defiance. Uh, yeah, Defiance and... or something else. Warframe. Apparently, a lot of people talk about. I'm not. I haven't played it, but I see a lot of people talk about Warframe, and it's free to play, <laughs> and it's on it's on the consoles. So I may need to go check that out. Um. Oh, are we on me now? <laughs> This, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. So you have not like we are the co-hosts. We talk to Flattish all the time about video games and video game companies and 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 video game technologies. Um, and he has been teasing even us with his EA story, and has not told us at all what it's about. But he did hint. He did hint a little bit that it was about Battlefront. Was it about? Is it about Battlefront? No, no. I just took a jab at Battlefront just because I my dis, my disdain for EA currently. Uh, let let me regale you in a story. <laughs> All right. Let me uh, turn down my volume. Oh no, yeah, that's probably. Just... <laughs> let... All right. First of all, uh, real quick, but let me let me fit this in here. Holidays were fun. I got a ton of games. <laughs> I. Str- uh, not only myself, but Talon streamed uh, over the break. Yeah, and I was going to say, I got you Thief, and you got me a, a Steam game that I, that I played. Oh, uh, yeah, Guns of Icarus. Guns of Icarus. Yep. So. Uh, yeah, uh, and uh, so all that's going on. Uh, by the way, you, you may see us stream more often now, so... And then we, we should be hosting ourselves on Evercast so we can get more people. Listen, it's all a thing. <laughs> anyway, that... Holidays great, family good, gaming fun, str- streaming Twitch, follow Flatus. All right, listen, let's get to the CEA story. So the other day, I lo- I got an EA game and I put it not Battlefront. I got an EA game and I put it in my PlayStation, right? And it's like, hey, uh, your email needs to change. All right, so I enter my current EA origin email. That's taken. All right, I I and I knowing knowing I probably had an older EA account from. My 360 days, like early 360 days, I probably set one up, forgot it, and I was like, all right, I logged it. I actually remembered the email that I used for it, and I logged into it. So I called, searched, did the Googles, and went to eat. This is on EA site. I should have saved the link. <clears throat> Telling you exactly what to do to link my PlayStation to my EA account, my, my Origin account. And since it was on something else, it told you what to do. So I did it. I followed it. This is day one. This, by the way, let's just call this day one. So, da-da. by the way, EA, they call you, and it was instant. So, by the way, that was great. Like, the, them getting on the phone with me, you get a, you get a ding. <laughs> so you get a ding. Uh, so, lady gets on the phone, starts, I tell her, explain my situation, even though I had to type it in and, and do the drop box and had a little box to write what my situation was. Still had to say, how can I help you? Or why did you need me to type it? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I just want my PlayStation Network account attached to this. It's on an old one, so uh, I see that all we really have to do is just get rid of that account, I guess, right? Or unlink it. All right, sir. Uh, yeah, I, I can do that. No problem. Okay, sure. She puts me on hold. <clears throat> and uh, She does her thing, comes back to me. She says, all right, so what I need to do... <laughs> It's like, okay. She's like, I need to merge the accounts. Sure. I don't know. Go ahead. Why not? She starts doing this. I start looking at my origin account and my games start disappearing. <laughs> and, I, and I'm on hold. Five minutes roll by. Another game goes. Fifteen minutes, she comes back. She's like, continue to hold on, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hold on. Um, my games are missing? She's like, yeah, I'm merging the accounts. I'm like, okay, okay. Do your thing. Do whatever you got to do. Merging, merging, all my games go, right? The only thing that's left on, on my Origin account is SWOTOR, fuck that. <laughs> and a couple of the free games that uh, Origin gives you, because they give you a free game every once in a while. So apparently, don't, those are locked to your account. Those don't go. <laughs> you get a game for free. You ain't, so if they merge, you ain't getting it. Come to the m- merging's done, right? She comes back, she's like, it's all done. Okay, so it's done, yeah. Emails are swapped 
And I was like, what the hell is going on? So she gets off the phone. He's like, are you all set? I think so. Didn't know. Didn't know the aftermath until I got off the phone with her because I was... Oh, by the way, the, the time span from the time I called was 9 o'clock at night. This took till 1 o'clock in the morning. I'd like to add you. I didn't get off the phone with the EA till 1 o'clock in the morning. Probably, n- fi- yeah, yeah, four hours, by the way. I was on the phone with the EA. Four hours for this uh, this lady to do this whole merge process. Um, I was livid once I got off the phone because once I figured out what happened, she didn't merge my accounts. What she did was swap them. Right, so all my friends lists, everything, like I didn't have anything. All my games were on this old account. All I had left was Sotor. I was about to light my computer on fire because it was the only thing I saw was Sotor on my current account. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Crawled into bed, and I probably, and I had to be, I had to wake up for work around 6:30 to go to work. So I woke up 6:30. I didn't, still didn't go to bed till about 1:30. So I got about four and a half hours of sleep and that was an angry sleep let me tell you i woke up and i was still like did i sleep i probably just stood there with my eyes awake in darkness and uh got up went to work come home first thing i do i call ea guy i got on the phone hi (laughs) explain my situation say hey listen i want everything switched back well sir you can't do that excuse excuse me what (laughs) well yeah you can't it's a one-time thing (laughs) once you go you can't come back. She didn't say that last night. Now, at any point, she said, hey, listen, um, once I do this, this is a what? She said, this is how you fix it. I was like, okay. So, um, you can go through and fix it for me, right? He's like, no, no, not at all. I was like, all right. I was livid. So, I was like, sir, I... N- he put. He's putting me on hold. Oh, by the way, the first time on hold. This is day two. First time on hold. Five minutes. Leaves. Comes back. All right. Uh, yeah, sir. I can't do that. All right. Well, then I start to get a little angrier. I was like, and I was calm. I'm, I used to be a CS. Like to point out, I used to work in customer service. I worked three years in a call center. I'm very calm when it comes to dealing with customer service people because I know what they have to put up with. So I didn't raise my voice. I was just like, all right. Well, what what. What can we do? He's like, nothing. It's lost. I'm like, what do you mean it's lost? You just can't do nothing for me at all? Yeah, no, you're going to just have to deal with it. That's It's just lost. Oh, I, I refuse to that. I was like, can I speak to your manager? Well, sir, I'm like, all right, well, listen, I'm not upset with you. I'm upset with the lady from the night before who took it upon herself to merge my accounts and really just swap them and didn't explain to me that this was a one-way transaction. So I need to speak to your manager. All right, sir, hold on. 15 minutes go by. <laughs> on hold. 15 more minutes. I <laughs> he gets back. All right, sir. Um, so what we're gonna do <laughs> is, uh, since you weren't informed that this was going to happen, we'll do a one-time exception and switch everything back, put all the games back, and move everything back. I was like, all right, cool. I want to make sure all my games come back too, because there was games that didn't even transfer over. By the way, there were some games that were missing. I was like, I want to make sure everything's back. So he's like, sure. I it's gonna take. I want, like, I want everything back. He said, okay. He puts me on hold again. Five more minutes. Comes back. He's like, I'm going to need help to do this because I don't know how to do this. What do you mean you don't know how to do this? You just, <laughs> the lady last night just screwed me over and you don't know how to do this? He's like, I'm going to get help. I said, okay, go get help. He's like, please wait on hold. All right. Five minutes go by. Nothing. Ten minutes go by. Nothing. I was like, you know what? I need a shower. I'm just going to leave the phone. I'm going to, I put it up. And I went to go grab a shower. And I could hear it. I put it on speaker. I was on hold. I, t- I took a shower, got out of the shower. I was still on hold. I was starving. They get back. 30 minutes on hold. <laughs> He's like, all right, sir. It's going through. So just continue to hold for me. Okay. He gets done, right? It's now 930. <laughs> he gets off the phone with me. I I got home by 6. So I was, I've been on the phone with him. 15, like maybe two and four, two hours and 45 minutes. I'll round up, say three hours, right? Four hours the night before, three hours with this guy. Seven hours of my life it was on EA customer service line, and I am not getting back. <laughs> Fuck you, EA. <laughs> Fuck you. Order my dinner. <laughs> Get back. I said, you know what? Something's still not right because I check and still, by the way, my PSN, and all of this, my PSN account never was attached. So I decided, Third time's a charm, right? That's what they say. Let me go through the process again. Go online, do the thing, pick the thing, do the drop-downs, write out what I want, 
And who do I get on the phone? But Blake. Oh, Blake. My white knight. <laughs> Blake gets on the phone. Blake's like, hey, man, I understand. I'm a gamer. I get it. You know, you know. I was like, all right, Blake, well, here's my situation. Because I had explained it to him one more time. And I explained everything that happened in the previous two calls. And Blake was like, he looked at the previous tick and said, you know what? That shouldn't have happened. All we needed to do was delete your old account. So then it puts your PlayStation Network in limbo. You can connect it to your new account. You don't say, Blake. <laughs> you don't say. So I said, Blake, can you... He's like, you know how long I was on hold from the sp moment I called Blake and, and Blake got on the phone with me? 15 minutes. It took Blake 15 minutes to delete the old account. And he personally connected my PlayStation Network account to my Origin account. Oh, and uh, by the way, let's take one step back. Um, when I had the two accounts, when he moved all my games back over, he didn't actually move my games back over. I had two separate EA accounts, both with full sets of games. I had two accounts with all those. I could have sold the second account and said, fuck it. <laughs> I could have just said, hey, who wants it? I could have just gave it away on the show and be like, who wants an EA account with Battlefield and, and Blo Dead Space 1 and 3 and, and Dragon Age Inquisition? Like, I had all that shit on there. All of it. And I could have just made a pretty penny or gave it away for free and been like, fuck you, EA. Here you go. Free games. Everybody wants it. And I said, no. Blake came through, fixed everything, said, I'm sorry, is everything fixed? I saw it, connected, logged in, perfect. Blake, I wrote the best survey I think I ever have. Blake fixed it, and the box said, what can we do better next time? Oh, train every single CSR like Blake. Blake was my white knight. <laughs> Blake deserves every award in customer service at E8 they have give to Blake. Blake deserves a raise, he deserves a better parking spot, and he deserves a fucking burrito for lunch. I'm not... <laughs> if you ever come to a point that Blake... If you ever need a point where you need to say, how should we train somebody, you point to Blake! <laughs> Fuck you, AA! Fuck your goddamn customer service! Fuck your shitty, untrained people, and never ever do that to somebody again. It was as simple as deleting my old account, and you couldn't handle it, and the one person that could should have been trained like everyone else. Fuck you, fuck Battlefront, and fuck all your shitty games, you're, the, you're just rated the worst company, and your customer service is just as bad as fucking Comcast. Fuck you. And Blake, if you can find a better high-paying job and anybody's out there listening and they want somebody that's a great CSR, find Blake, give him a job, and pay him fuck twice as much as goddamn EA. I believe Hi. what he's trying to say is FUCK EA! But I'm not 100% sure that I'm right on that. Because, I, I mean... Seven, Tell us how you seven, really feel. Eight hour, eight hours. A full days of work went into rectifying my account. So, hi. How's it going? Oh, so it might have been really that that was a one-time like software thing that they could swap it one way one time, but not back. And so the manager decided that to satisfy you, that they would just give you a copy of the game and so <laughs> <laughs> all of them had two counts with all the games on. Them. I kid you, I logged in with one of my friends. Like, only person I knew the story was one of my friends. And I was like, listen, I, I said, I kid you not, I have two accounts with games on him. And he <laughs> he just started dying. He was just like, I can't believe that they just fucked up that bad. That they're just like, they gave you games. They just gave you those games. I'm like, oh, I know. I know that's what they did. Are you, ugh. Uh. Uh. Welcome to Evercast 2016. We're back. I mean, we're back. <laughs> I generally I try to keep <laughs> the show pretty positive. You Gladys, you broke it. You broke it. 
Uh, he's going to have to disconnect and reconnect real quick. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I generally like to keep the show pretty light, and um... I blame EA. Blame EA that? Yeah, that's the hashtag blame EA. <laughs> pretty uh, light, light, light and humorous is how I like to keep the show. Um... <laughs> But Flattis was definitely worked up over that, and yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I, I, listen. At the end of the day, after I calmed down after a few days, I, <laughs> Leg I'm glad Legendary's laughing. <laughs> so, like, honestly, I really do hope you find some humor in that. Like, at the end of it, I had a laugh at the situation as well. It got to the point where I just laughed, laughed, <laughs> because eventually it did get fixed, and I can't be too, too mad at, I was never mad at Blake, and I'm glad that somebody there actually knew what to do. <laughs> um, but, God, train train your people, right? Like, am I wrong about that? Make sure people are trained, and... You're, you're, you're a company. <laughs> people, you, make pe you make money, and you give people money to do jobs. <laughs> and I, I've seen a couple of people come into chat. Um, there is no EverQuest Knox news that we have, other than that they are continuing to, to work on it. They haven't said anything publicly about where they're at and what's going on. Uh, so no, we don't know anything. That's the, I'm sorry, there's somebody in the chat, the name Fister Gently, and that's probably my favorite name. <laughs> It's probably a just fine, and I'm taking it worst way possible. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. well, no, I don't think there's a... Yeah, it's... I, there was a pitcher for the Mariners whose last name was Fister. Yeah, it, must maybe. Have, it must have been horrible going through life with the last name Fister. <laughs> um, Can't imagine he'd ever get married, Mr. and Mrs. Fister. Yeah. Fister, on the mound. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That was his name! <laughs> um, there, there was the competition uh, that just wrapped up for the latest build, which was the Halazian build. They did the, um, like, I think I tweeted out that they um, took all the winning um, submissions for the Hollis builds and, and put them in, like, online on the forums, and you can scroll through and look at every what everything is building, um, which will give you a good idea of what art direction that EverQuest is next is taking, specifically for Hollis. But other than that, like, the last time, I mean, we asked for, like, any sort of news on, you know, anything, you know, even inclu including while they were talking about the Halasians and there, there wasn't, they're not at a point where they're ready to discuss that. Um, so that was, uh, catching up with our cast, um, that was, got yeah, a lot of FUs to EA. Sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. Um, if you're listening to the show, uh... <laughs> I'm not, I, I'm not. No, I mean, like, like, if you're listening at work, maybe use headphones. <laughs> yeah, well, there is yeah. that. Um, but we, we like to try and Isn't it a little late for that warning? Is it? I can edit it in for the <laughs> I mean, people. <laughs> I mean, if you really want, we can make it so much more. I mean, we do. We have to. Do we have to. I mean, there was a best of. Do oh, it was in the best of where Lucy constantly said pussy juice like forty, four hundred times before the end of the show. So. And then you started beatboxing it. Pussy juice. Something like that. Sometimes you um, gotta beat the box. I'm so sorry. Sorry. But yes, um, as I was saying, that we we like to be the the, the voice of the gamer, and sometimes uh, um, the developers they they don't you know they don't listen, um, and they don't take uh, player concerns seriously. Like what you were describing should be something that they um, you know forethought like. Okay, we have you have an EA account. You've created it. You've attached it to this, and you want to merge it or transfer it to a new console. That shouldn't be like a a new thing. That should be something that they're predicting will happen, and they have a plan in place to take care of that. Um, you know, thinking about the customer and what they're going to want. Um. So, uh, that was uh the 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 
catching up with. Um, towards the end of last year, we were doing a final thoughts segment. Uh, we're going to keep on doing the final thoughts, um, but we've added in two new segments um, at the end that we're going to throw in at the end of the show. So the, for going forward in the future, you're going to see like us come in, we're going to do introductions, we're going to have our ECAST news, then we're going to cover the main topic, and then we have two new topics before we get to our final thoughts. Uh, Flatus, you All ready? Right. You ready? Oh, yeah. Because this, yeah. this is your big one. This, this. Oh, somebody sent in a question, then they want they have a question for me. So by the way... We'll get to all that. But yeah, yeah, go ahead. Do the thing. Oh, I was going to say exactly what it is. Our new sag segment is Ask Flattis. If you have a question that you would like, any sort of life advice, you know, question. Gaming, Flattis, there, whatever you want. Is there any uh, restrictions on what can and can't be asked? No, you can ask me anything, really. I'll answer it. <laughs> okay. Then if you would want, want advice from Flattis, uh, email it in, tweet it out, and we will, <laughs> we will read it out. She didn't even hit the mic, but it pulled in on your mic. Oh, God. <laughs> That's okay. You weren't here the episode where I said people should email us pictures of feet because I was just saying, just email us anything, even pictures of your feet. And then Dan Lynn was like, please don't do that. <laughs> so our first write-in uh, is, uh, hey, Flattis, and this is from M. Dusa. I have unmanageable and uncontrollable hair. Even say that it has a mind of its own. Do you have any suggestions on hair maintenance products? I've heard you talk of your beard care products, and I was wondering if you could help a Gorgon out. Thanks. Sure. And <laughs> <Medusa. laughs> Um, I don't know. Do they make L'Oreal Reptilian? <laughs> Is that a thing? Uh... I would say, if you if you're having flyaways, <laughs> uh, hairspray clips maybe banana clip <laughs> is that a thing women still use? <laughs> Honey, women haven't used banana clips since I was a teenager, and I'm old as dirt. The banana clip. <laughs> um, I would say, <laughs> uh, listen, I. I mean, if you want the punk rock me main, go for yeah, it. Yeah, why not? Go for it. It just depends. Feel what's in your soul. I would say that you need to go see somebody who can tell you what you need in your hair, depending on how dry it is. And it, now, I would say this. Wash your hair, depending on how quickly your hair gets oily and stuff like that, probably wash it like two to three times, and sometimes that's maybe too many times a week. Um, and... <laughs> and just you know keep it keep it going <laughs> you want you want to keep it the shine going the natural oils come through and gives you the nice shine you're looking for but you got to keep it clean though there's dry shampoos you can always do that in between and keep it like you know fresh uh what are you feeding those things <laughs> i got a lot uh, of questions uh, i think i got more questions <laughs> than i have answers for for this one uh but <laughs> I, you know what? I'll say this. Uh, just uh, put it maybe, maybe you know, the updo. <laughs> I think the updo is uh, often un unused a lot. I think maybe pull, pull, you know, just a little bun or something. Pull it back. T not taut. You know, don't do that where you get like a seven head. Do a little something. A little whip come down. A little maybe. Can you dye it? I don't know what you're doing with snakes on you. <laughs> can you dye a snake? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But I will say this. Uh, maybe if L'Oreal or Vidal Sassoon or, <laughs> or some sort of zoo <laughs> can help you out, um, I would say don't look in the mirror. Maybe probably don't do that. That's probably the bad idea. <laughs> uh, and uh, I don't know. You're. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> but do. <laughs> Medusa, uh, you broke me. <laughs> and, uh, hair snakes. Uh, you know, just, just find out what works for you. Everyone's got different body types and, and, and hair types. Like, I, I oil my beard, but I don't wash it every day. Like, you just, you know, and you gotta keep it so that you don't get flakes and stuff like that, so. <laughs> If you were a fruit, what fruit, if you were a fruit, what fruit would best describe you? 
banana clip. <laughs> All right. Um. <clears throat> well, thank you, Flatus. I I hope that M Dusa has. And uh, yeah, I still solved. No, it's fine. I solved all her problems. <laughs> Maybe you know, if you're so worried. At, oh, here, here's my final answer. Don't worry about your hair. Worry about your personality. If you're finding that your, <laughs> if you're finding that your hair is your freaking biggest hangup, <laughs> you got some issues. <laughs> Maybe work on some other aspects of your life, and maybe make hair your last. Like hygiene and appearance is good, but you, you know, if you're having trouble catching men. <laughs> Okay. Sunglasses. So, our next segment, we're gonna start doing uh, for for 2016 forward. We give the the other two hosts a, a message. Email all future it. email all future questions to contact at evercastshow.com. Show dot com. Yeah, and uh, in the t subject line, Flatus help me. <laughs> Flatus help me. Yeah. Okay. Um, You've been helped. The next segment uh, is Do Better. Um, I, I listen, well, Flatus and I both listen to a lot of podcasts, right? Shouldn't this have fallen under EA Do Better? It, it, it did. I almost thought about that it would be one of those things to throw under the Do Better. But this is, I actually have my own personal Do Better. And this is not, I mean, it, it is kind of like blasting out a company, but it's really more about like a, a hey d hey developing game company producer marketing whatever you you had a great idea but you swung and you missed you need to do better <clears throat> and uh, my do better for the week of uh, January tenth twenty sixteen is Oculus Rift and I I, I I don't want you guys thinking that I'm going to complain about the price because. We are in a kind of an expensive hobby. Um, I, I, you know, I, I realize that I'm kind of privileged. I'm, I, I've got this wonderful gaming computer. I have gaming software that uh, and equipment that allows me to live stream to the internet, um, and that's not what everybody has access to. And um, I just went over and said, I just bought all three consoles. They were certified pre-owned, uh, so that so. I get that that being a gamer can be expensive. So it's not necessarily the expense that I'm complaining to the Rift about. I'm saying that they need to do better because what did they project and what did they are they they hype that the price point was going to be and then what was it actually? The flattest was the first one who pointed out that like oh they said like in the ballpark of 350 and after they came out with the $600 price tag, I'm like, Flatus, where did you, where did you see the ballpark 350 And he showed it right there, right there on the internet. They said that it was going to be in the ballpark of 350 and it was there. And how, how, as Flatus said, what freaking ballpark are you playing in <laughs> that $350 is in the ballpark of 600 It's in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's part one of my do better. My part two is that it is literally the week after Christmas. Um, I know I didn't have any spare money left over after Christmas. I was like, it's, it's, it's the holidays. Let's, let's, let's not worry so much about money because it's not the time of the year. Let's talk, concentrate on having fun and, and, and pampering and, and, with one another, uh, with the things that we can, and I went out and bought all three consoles. Had I known that, like they they, they had said that the um, the the Oculus Rift was scheduled to be um, available for pre order or for order uh, the first quarter of 2016, um, that's a three month time period. Never once in my did I imagine that the first quarter of 2016 was literally the first week of 2016. Otherwise, I might have had a little bit of money saved away so that I could order it. Um, so that's part one of it. And then part two of it is that if you're going to announce that when the pre-sale is going to be available, you gave us literally two days. <laughs> like, whoever put that plan together, uh, do better. Um, if you're going to, to um, have an estimation for how much it's going to cost 
be realistic. A, a, a difference of fifty dollars either way, no one is going to bat an eye. And I, even I don't, I don't, you know, no, go up to seventy-five dollars either way. I don't think really a hundred would have really batted an eye. So if they would have came out and said four fifty for the lot, like I think no, everyone would have been like, all right, four fifty. That's not bad. Because he, because at the end, the end product was still better than the second dev kit. Like it was like their the release. It was like the full 1080p. It was like everything. So I would have been like, all right, like if you would have said like, listen, that like to get that extra bump, we had to put a little more into it, and it's 450 or, like I think that still would have been okay with people. But you come swinging out <laughs> 600 after Christmas, you don't, you don't, you want, you didn't want a lot of people buying this thing right away. <laughs> Do better, <laughs> that, and, that's, and so that's what we were saying. Like, be be um, accurate in your estimations when you're releasing marketing info on how much things are going to cost. Two, don't do anything the week after the first week of January. You shouldn't be trying to release anything. Um, you you want to get people time to recover from the holidays. I know that like some of my coworkers, they literally just got they're coming back this week. They they weren't even working last week. Who wants to go out and spend money when you're out on a vacation doing whatever? Um, and then number three is that if you're going to do an an announcement for a pre order, give us two weeks. Give us a month would be even better. Yeah, no, they should have. They, they was just planning, and I mean, you knew, you knew that it was gonna be first quarter twenty sixteen. You should have said, "Hey, listen, it's coming out like like they should have just announced, not like two weeks after Christmas," <clears throat> because there was people like you or anyone else who had the money that went out and bought the consoles that because that was a great deal. Like there were some people who were like, "All right, well, Oculus isn't coming out. That's a great deal on the consoles. I'll throw the money at the consoles." And I'll make, you know, tax tax season's coming. I'll make that money back, no problem. And I'll get the uh, money in order to get the Oculus. No, that came, like, it was, like, literally two weeks. They're just like, hi, guys, you can go pre-order now. Flip tables. <laughs> yeah, that's that's where I was at, basically. Like, give me time, and and I can, like, make a to, to to a budget to be able to afford that sort of thing. But at, the, at this point in time, I'm not even looking at the Rift. I'm looking at what the HTC Vive is going to be like. And then um, the I now have a PlayStation 4. So um, what's to say I don't just wait to see that they don't call it the Morpheus. They just call it like what, Sony VR? PlayStation VR, something like that. I think Morpheus is a better name. I, and the only reason I think that they couldn't, that they don't stick with uh, Morpheus Matrix. is because they, no, they couldn't get it trademarked. Probably that. I, or I mean, that's the, only or the Matrix. Why. Well, that's one of the reasons why they couldn't get it trademarked is because it belongs, like, Morpheus is not, like, it's, it's funny that you think of Sand, uh, you think of the Matrix when you hear Morpheus, and I think of the Sandman from uh, Neil, Gaiman co Neil Gaiman's comics. Oh yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> he was dreaming, uh, you know. Anyway, okay. uh so any last final thoughts? Uh we are right up against the one hour of Evercast mark. Kai's got a horse. <laughs> I have a horse. My horse is amazing. His name is Oliver. So I can call him Ollie. Uh, I, well, I should, no, I find it everyone tonight. <laughs> so, uh, you know, come, come back next week. <laughs> It'll probably be 99% less, less offensive. <laughs> <laughs> probably not, I don't know, probably not. Uh, I don't know about that. We, sure. we, and you know what, we have to get on schedule. Um, I would like to bring on, um, interviews with a couple of game, games that we've been talking about, um, Any of them? <laughs> I I uh, like what you, I know. Flatus has been playing. Oh, that's we, okay. That's what we need to do. Kyleste and me need to put pressure on Flatus. Uh, Final Fantasy. We're gonna do an episode on Final Fantasy. Uh, yeah. Give me give me some time because I'm gonna get I I for that show I do have a guest in mind and he he's been a friend of the show for a long time so it would be nice to get Shinter uh <laughs> on the show because uh, he 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 is my my uh and i got fitorian in chat as well so if i don't i have a He's backup probably gonna tell you no he probably he probably will oh shin i may get him 
I th- if, yeah. if, if I can get him to talk about Final Fantasy, I think he'll show up too. I think I can get him. Yeah. Uh, so we want to do an episode on Final Fantasy. Um, uh, if we can talk about G- Go Gigantic. What other new games is coming out? Game-wise? Um, let's see. Well, you know, speaking of Final Fantasy, I mean, there's the Fan Fest in October that I may be going to. Wink, wink, Vegas. Yeah. Wink, wink, wink. My co-host may be going wink, wink. Trying to convince see, Cinder. Yeah, if you're gonna be in Vegas, we'll go out there because. Uh, because I mean, we'll, like, like, how, how, and excuse me, but that gives me an excuse to make a white mage robe. Hello. Right. Flat, like, how, how far do you how far do you live from like Key West? Uh, the uh, first key probably like I can get there in like three hours, four hours. That's uh, Vegas is us, with us. Yeah, just is depend it? if you. Yeah, if you want me to go all the way to the point though, that's gonna take some time. <laughs> But if I can get to the first king in about three hours, four, four tops probably with a gas break. I'm on it. <laughs> Want me to go there now? <laughs> and, um, uh, well, other games that are coming out. Let's see. We have uh, Devillion should be out this year, and none of us are really playing that. We got Devillion. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, well, we can talk a little bit about why we don't play like any of the isometric um, because they're not true 3D games. They're oh, isometric. Uh, yeah, I, I, mean, and, I mean, I have Diablo three, so I'm and they update that. I'm kind of set with that. I'm okay with that. Right. Well, and um, like uh, Sword Coast Legends, like I love a whole bunch of the ideas behind the game, and it's another one of those games where I just like it's it's not. If you're gonna play that one, that one, it's very, it's good. <laughs> Sword Coast Legend? Uh, oh yeah. no, I have Sword. I have Sword Coast. Oh, I have not played it yet. So, <laughs> I uh, right. no the other the other free to play isometric, the big one. Uh, Sword Coast is not free to play, but the Path of Exile. Thank you, Brain. There you go, Path of Exile. Yeah. Who just is coming out their next expansion soon? So they're on it over there. Um, so yeah, it, by the way, guys, if you have suggestions for people you want us to contact and try to get on the show and talk about games, let us know. And, uh, maybe, maybe there's something we're not saying. You see something, you let us know. By the way, uh, if you have not logged into, uh, Gorgon, Project Gorgon, uh, they updated. You're not, you don't start in the cave anymore. You start on, on Noob Island. Oh, that's right. I, I remember that they were, that they were tweeting out that they had updated the new player experience. And to get and to get off that island, you got to put in put in some time. It actually roll like there's some stuff on that island. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, um, the Vanguard emulator is finally got a questing gun. Yeah, yeah. Their questing and combat system is like at the first phase, and they have a lot more to to do. All right, that's not bad. We're getting there. We're getting there. I found a I found a Warhammer. <laughs> emulator but i cannot get it to work for the life well, of me. see i need to go back and look at that legal document that or that legal announcement that came out the legal news because some the the trademark office ruled that um that allowing your taking a video game offline if it was ever online and taking it offline basically means you've surrendered your trademark on it you sur- surrendered your copyright on it so it's no longer copyrighted and so I think that that made it easier for play for people to create emulators, especially if they're not making any money off of it. It, it did, and Warhammer they don't make any money off of it. Right, in the Vanguard emulator, it's it's you know just people doing stuff. They announced that they were putting in Kowtar in for EQN. Not sure. Oh, you mean the the cow that turns people into cows? If they did that. I can milk talent and get an EQN. Boo. I don't have that cow character. I told you that I couldn't. I, I, del- I had to delete it. I had to delete that account. Till we get... V- <laughs> uh, I fit my new, my, that's my new favorite. <laughs> my new favorite person in chat. Because <laughs> I, had, I had friends say that to me as well. <laughs> VR porn. <laughs> I didn't want to go there, but you know that's the the, the <laughs> reason why v, the VHS made the um is was the standard instead of Betamax is because that was the one that the porn industry backed, and then like the that's where like uh, the DVD and then going to Blu-ray it was like well if the the porn industry can gets behind this technology then we know we've got a winner because people will pay, and yeah. 
Aw, somebody in chat loves me. <laughs> Thanks, relax, Akama. I love you too. I got Meowth in here. I got Meowth nine hundred. Oh, hey, I know her. Yeah. Or at least on Twitter, not really. Yeah. Um, Kyles, okay. You have that look on your face. We started talking about VR porn. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. 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 I apologize. You're Dude. both grounded. I don't. It's, I, I, I can't help it. That's what people if do. If I buy you a drink in Vegas, does it make, does it make up for it? Maybe. I, I want to talk uh, like when we bring up VR again because I, I linked to that one article that um, a lot of times that we're talking about VR, it's in the single player experience in that you know you're thinking about like well how will I interact with the game and one of the articles I read about like the emergence of VR for gaming for gaming is that we that because um, the the technology is also new that we don't really have a good understanding of how VR will be for interacting with each other and uh, the analogy I made mentally so that I could kind of think about it and understand it is that um, that dr that um, movie with Robin Williams what dreams may come and he, long story short he's in another world and he's talking with this other person Heaven. and at the He's no. Well, it's not. It's the afterlife because there was also the the hell part of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, you find out at the end of the movie that one of the people that he has been interacting with this whole time and that has been guiding him through the this this journey through this um, afterworld is his son. But his son it can be anybody he wants to be. And so I was thinking to myself that that virtual reality is opening up those type of doors where you you're the avatar that you represent because it's so real to the people that are seeing it on the other side. It might allow you know. Um, new experiences that are, you know, we don't really see um, because you are, well, I mean, the internet means that you act like an asshole because no one knows who you really are. But in a fantasy MMO, it might be kind of interesting and cool um, to be able to interact and move around someone who is, for all of your visual senses, a troll or an orc or an elf. That's what you see. And that might be incredibly cool. Um, or it could be just, you, you know, know, depending the, depending on, depending on what state you live in, that may happen now. <laughs> Colorado. <laughs> and and, and Victorian. I'm surprised is, you is, have is, not muted me and kicked me off the show tonight. <laughs> I, I've never muted anybody. On purpose. <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Um, so, like, I was like Fitorian. Like, I only really cared about VR in terms of playing a um, a flight simulator or a space simulator because I, I I have um, Elite Dangerous. Um, when I play Elite Dangerous, I have three monitors, so I have the the whole surround sound. Um, I have the flight stick and the throttle right down over there, so it really feels like I'm flying around. Um, and that's where I noticed that one of the problems with true VR is that it both feels incredibly slow and incredibly fast at the same time. And what I mean by that is that when you're flying at speeds, um, planets are big. They're huge. I flew like straight up, straight up, straight against the perpendicular plane of a planet, or I, I flew perpendicular against the plane of a planet to get above it so that I could look down on it. And I, I spent like 30 minutes just flying and barely got anywhere. And so that's what I mean, like in true space sims, yeah, it, it doesn't really work. Unless you increase the speed of the aircraft. And then I found that when you're flying through an asteroid belt at those speeds, there's just like no asteroids to see. It's like there's a little speck of light that like there it was and now it's gone because you just zoomed by it. But anyway. Well, <laughs> NASA chat with Tamla. <laughs> I don't even work it. That's not what I do. Not what I, do. <laughs> I don't even work. I don't work in NASA. No, I, I. I mean, like I. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, but that's not. I don't work on fun stuff. I. I... 
What, what time does your clock say? Do you, you play Rocket Man when you play that game? <laughs> no. But I did think that it would be, be kind of cool, like the in-game radio. Um, I, I, I really didn't get much of a chance because I was playing a lot of the solo missions, like the tutorial missions for it. But I thought that it would be really cool if like um, other games do where they have proximity-based um, um, communications, like H1Z1 has it. Um, Maybe cool. Planet Side 2. Planet Side 2 has it, but it would be really cool in a space sim to be able to use voice communications with people when you're flying near them or, you know, oh, hey, I picked them up on my sensors, boost power to the radio, and let's establish contact type stuff. Yeah. And, it would be interesting, uh, like, just because it would it would feed my nerd on it. If there was, like, a space sim, at, but it was, like, Earth and stuff, but we could still, because since you could pick up radio signals, like, maybe Earth's dead here, we're in space already, but the further you get away from, like, Earth, like, the older the music gets, and, like, the, like, the trance. Ooh, that would be really cool. That'd like, be that'd cool be really idea. cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody uh, but uh, EA, let me know what you want. <laughs> you know, and it's funny, is that, is that, we, um, like, uh, No Man's Sky is one of the games that I'm really looking forward to, to playing, it's coming out this summer. I now have a PlayStation I can play it on, or I could play it on the PC. Um, but the, um, no Man's Sky is one of the games where I, I first noticed that they have a real distortion on scale and and speed because I remember one of their videos in there, like this is actual gameplay footage. They take off from the planet and they lift off and they're flying and the next thing you know they're literally flying past the moon of the planet and then they're flying to the next planet over and there's a battle going on, on the, at the next planet over. I'm like, man, those space, the scale and, and speed that you would have to be traveling at for that to make sense doesn't work it would be it would be bad oh um and we're kind of going on a tangent and we've gone like 10 minutes over so uh, final thoughts i'm going to shut my shut my mouth and let you guys finish up and we'll call it a, a put it in the can and and put this up on itunes and youtube and stitcher for everybody to check out later final thoughts <laughs> are I have a horse. Horse is amazing. His name is Oliver. And fuck you, EA. Yeah. <laughs> we can't name the episode fuck you, EA. <laughs> can't oh, do no. that. Yeah, just stick it with back in the saddle. Did, did I change the name of, uh, of the episode title? I think I forgot to do that. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, 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 uh, oh. Fire, uh, fire Tanlin. How could he not update the title of the Well, episode? we were doing so many new things. <laughs> So many. Commit to the bit, Tanlin. That's what we did tonight. We committed to the bits. <laughs> um, ten to, ten. I seriously thought you said committed to the bitch, and I was like, what? No, please. No, no. I've gotten into enough trouble today. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> enough trouble. <laughs> that would not have gone there. You're not and allowed to do that, Tanlin. <laughs> uh, like, I banned you from. It's fucking creepy. No. He does it so good that sometimes they question his sexuality. It. <laughs> he does like I just want because because there's a delay. <laughs> I just watched it on stream. <laughs> it's eerily good. It's eerily good. Right. <laughs> That's a little good. It's great. <laughs> um. Final thoughts. We're back. Thank you so much for coming back and uh uh happy new year to everybody and thank you for setting through my rant and please if you have life questions gaming questions questions about whatever really email me at uh contact at evercastshow.com put in the thing uh flat as help me um and i'll I, whatever you want really i'll i'll answer it <laughs> if, if meowth you can email me meowth i'll answer your questions what do you want to talk about <laughs> And uh, so, uh, thank you all. I don't, Tanley, you have any final thoughts, or have we we rolling out of this? That those are our two mini horses, or aka two, two, dogs. Two. Yeah, they're German draft dogs. Uh, no, um, I'm thinking. I, I had a final thought. Thank you for putting up with us. Um, for you know. <laughs> for, for, <laughs> me. Hey, Thanks for no. putting up with me. <laughs> Got me for an hour and 15 minutes. And you, and you stood here, and we got follow. We got follows for it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. But uh, thank you all, and uh, next week we will have another show, and it'll be episode 83, and... I'll we'll change be, the title. And, we'll and the be, episode number. And we will be talking about something... 
Mm-hmm. Not sure what it... Yeah, we'll, we'll tweet it out. We'll tweet out what we're talking about so you guys can kind of uh, figure out what you guys want to talk to us about. But remember, we have a couple new things. You know, It, it may not be every week that Flatus gets to answer questions, and it may not be every week that Tanlin may say, you know, get better. <laughs> No, I, I hope that it's a reoccurring segment. Every week, I want to find <laughs> You're right. Every better. week, I want to get kinky and yell at old yell at things. No, I, I don't. No, Have I you don't... seen what his shirt says? It says grumpy, it's, it's, I know. It's, I'm it's, telling it's you. backwards. I'm telling you, you're slowly becoming uh, Clint Eastwood in Gran Torino. You're going to sit on your front porch and just like watch people go by and just do this with your band. <laughs> just, like... Is he married <laughs> in that movie? I think he was at some point. Was. <laughs> yeah. Was. I don't... <sighs> <laughs> I played a lot of Impressive Fire. Maybe we'll do a whole episode on that. Everybody will hate it. Yeah. You may you may be good at FPSs. Like, you have a lot of pent-up aggression, I think. <laughs> I don't Former think, I don't Marine. Think, I don't think you're getting... I don't think it's getting out <laughs> in WoW PvP. Every, 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 every once in a while, I run into somebody, and they're like, you were a Marine? No way! And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Flattis, I'm listening to Evercast now. Are you happy? Yeah. Yeah, I am happy. Thank you. I love you too, Relax Akama. And your nose whistle. Yeah, you're welcome. You get the nose You get all of it. I tried to eliminate the nose whistle because we had pushed talk here. All right, we got to go. Who is going <laughs> to camp us out? Yeah, uh, who's going to camp us out? Me, I guess I'll camp. <laughs> I did the most damage tonight. I'll this out. All right, guys. Thank you all. And uh, remember, thumbs is up on Stitcher. Like, give us reviews on iTunes. And we will see you all next week. Camping in five, four, three, two, and one. Bye bye. <laughs>